Hello, welcome to another series of Profit and Loss of India IT tutorials. This is our first class of Profit and Loss. So we will start with basic concepts related to Profit and Loss. Some terms which you need to be aware in Profit and Loss are Cost Price, Selling Price, Profit and Loss. What is a Cost Price? Cost Price is that price at which a person buys something. And selling price is that price at which a person sells something. For example, if you are moving to a shop for buying a chocolate, then you are buying a chocolate, say, of 60 bucks. Then that 60 bucks for you is cost price. Whereas that 60 bucks is selling price for the shopkeeper because he is selling that chocolate and you are buying that chocolate. So what is profit? Profit is anything when you sell anything above your cost price. So profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Similarly, loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. That is when you sell any product below the cost you have purchased it. Profit percentage is calculated as profit upon CP into 100 and loss percentage is calculated as loss upon CP into 100. Different type of costs are direct cost or variable cost. This is the cost that varies with each unit. For example, if say variable cost in, calcul uh, in manufacturing one pen is 5 rupees, then the cost of 10 pen would be 5 into 10 that is 50 rupees. Now this type of cost is called as direct cost or variable cost. Example of this is raw materials which is used in manufacturing the products. Second type of cost is indirect cost or fixed cost or say overhead cost. Now this type of cost they will be there and they are not dependent on number of units of the products. For example if a storage room is there now the rent of the storage room would be same for 10 items, 400 items or say 1000 items. Whether they are manufacturing 10 items or 100 or 1000 items, the cost would be same. That is, indirect cost is independent on number of units of the products. Another type of cost is semi-variable cost. Now this cost now this type of cost acts as a fixed cost in normal conditions but when sale increases unconditionally or it decreases at an unconditional rate that is in rare circumstances this type of cost becomes semi variable cost. For example right now company requires one store room to store say 1 lakh products. Now suddenly demand increases and now it has to manufacture say 2 lakh products. Now in this case what happens? The company has to rent one more storeroom. Now this type of cost will be called a semi variable cost because this is for a short period of time. Another type of cost is margin or contribution per unit. Now this margin, this is a type of gain that manufacturers earn on their product. This is calculated as SP minus manufacturing cost. That is margin is equals to SP minus say manufacturing cost is CP. So it would be equal to SP minus CP. Now break even point. This is not a type of cost. It's a concept which is used in these type of questions. Break even point is that point where your total cost that you have spent in manufacturing the items is equal to your selling price. For example, say you have spent dollar thousand in manufacturing 10 units and out of that you have earned dollar thousand by selling say six units. So at this time you don't have any type of loss, neither you have any type of gain. So this type of point where your cost price that is the amount that you have spent and your earned price whatever you have earned or whatever you have gained they are equal then this point is known as break even point. Another type of price is the markup price. While manufacturing a product or while selling any product 
what manufacturers do is they add a certain amount to their cost price this the price as a result is known as markup price say cost price of a pen over here is rupees 5 and they have add rupee 1 as a markup price which gives us rupees 6 as total markup price now see further more concepts now let's discuss some formulas related to types of costs that we have just discussed what would be the profit and loss in case of break even point now profit in case of break even point will be equal to actual sales minus break even sales into margin per unit similarly loss will be opposite of profit that is break even sales minus actual sales into margin per unit because a loss will occur when break even sales are greater than our actual sales and profit will occur when actual sales are higher than break even sales now what would be the profit percentage when goods bought and sold are at same price for example a shopkeeper purchases 10 products at rupees 100 and he sold 6 products at rupees 100 now in this case profit percentage would be equal to goods left divided by goods sold into 100 now what would be the market price so market price is equal to cost price plus markup say cost price of any product is 10 and markup would be say rupees 2 so our mark price would be equal to 12 rupees now let's discuss some examples related to profit and loss the example says a girl buys a t-shirt and a skirt for rupees 371 if skirt costs 12 percent more than the shirt find the cost of the t-shirt as already discussed in our previous classes that whatever is asked in the question you can assume any variable for that so let's suppose the cost of the t-shirt is x so cost of t-shirt is equal to x and the cost of the skirt is 12 percent more than the shirt so cost of skirt will be equal to 12% of x 12% of x plus x now we need to find out the cost of the t-shirt and the cost of t-shirt and skirt is equal to 371 so x plus 12% of x plus x is equal to 371 this is cost of t-shirt and this is the cost of skirt let's solve them it gives us 2x that is x plus x is 2x plus 12 upon 100 into x is equal to 371 taking lcm we get 200x plus 12x upon 100 is equal to 371 which gives us 212x is equal to 371 into 100 so x would be equal to 371 100 divided by 212 which gives us after dividing it gives us 2666.66 as the answer so the cost of the t-shirt is equal to 2666.66 rupees for more tutorials Stay tuned with IndiaEDU.com.